Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem 7 Hector Hard Mode in the Tenet Ranks. Chapter 27, the biggest flex, maybe not of Altissimo's great strategic powers necessarily, although it is that too, but just the amount of suffering you are willing to go through. Taking yourself to Chapter 27, Jeremy version, what were you thinking? Um, flexing? <laughs> That's the answer you should have expected. Yep. <laughs> um... Now the, the the thing about it is that I I did want to um I, I do think this chapter is harder so I, I wanted to to do this and just like I thought the Linus uh, version of Four Fanged Offense was harder to get to mm -hmm. um so I, I just kind of wanted to show off by doing what I thought was like the harder content um I would have done the same in Fire Emblem Six but I don't know if it's actually even possible to do Sakai while also getting everyone to level twenty oh yeah <laughs> true I can see that so. <laughs> Um, so in this case, I was able to get away with it. Uh, and I'm also going to be going to get, uh, Corral instead of Harkin. Oh, right. Um, for similar reasons. Oof. Um, because, uh, first off, Corral is more difficult to get because you have to open the four doors. Oh, um, in what, nine turns? It's ten, nine or ten, something like that. Yeah. Um, and Corral is obviously worse than Harkin. So I just kind of wanted to show off and be like, I got the worst unit and I still managed to complete the run or something like that. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, you just open the door to the first room, the one that caught me by surprise last time I played this chapter because I didn't know there was a bolting stage right behind there. <laughs> that was scary. Yep. Fortunately, Rath got lucky, got a crit here. So that gun is <laughs> gone. I guess if there's one good thing about this chapter, I think there's more experience to be found than in the Canada version because there's more enemies that you gotta kill. Yes, I think so too. Um, it, 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 like, it, it works out well for, for like an EXP, EXP grinding standpoint. Um, so that that's that's not an issue. Uh, that, that I mean that, that helps me out. Um, the other thing is that uh, Bartre has a niche here, which is going to help him get levels toward his uh, twenty slash five promotion. Um, that I don't think he has in the other version of the map. Oh, interesting. Curious. Is... I can't think of what it is, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the surprise when it is. <laughs> Uh, I, I think not only are there more enemies that you necessarily have to kill because it's a route map instead of a seas map, uh, but I think there's also just more promoted enemies. I think the Kenneth version has like four or five maybe? Like Kenneth yeah, because the... there's like only a specific number that you have to kill in order to get Corel or Harkin on that version of the map or something like that. Yeah, and here, I mean, there's a Wyvern Lord right nearby, there's a Nomad Trooper in the top right of the screen basically, and I know there's more starting off the, from, from the start, and I think there's reinforcements promoted as well, whereas I think the, the Kenneth reinforcements are all promoted enemies, like Wyverns and Thieves, and I think that's it. Yeah, there you go, there's another wave of Nomad Trooper right there. Yeah, um, and then there's there's a couple other uh, uh, waves of like Pegasus Knights and, and Paladins, or Falcon Knights, I mean, and Paladins later on. So. Mm -hmm. And you got the dangerous Luna Druids inside, of course, always fun yes. to tangle with. There's going to be a really interesting moment following one of those later. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, and like in terms of what you brought, I mean, at this point, I'm kind of used to seeing people like Lucius and Will and, and Bartray whenever they can catch up in levels. Uh, you brought mm -hmm. two thieves. I'm just curious, because I, I know you have to open doors, but don't you have like keys and all that um, stuff? I do, but some Legault and Matthew both need levels as well, experience. Um, so that was part of the motivation there. Mm. They're also just going to be going to different places, different parts of the map. That's fair. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> it is always easier to just have a thief somewhere because they can open any door without the need to manage chest key and door key uses. They, they take less inventory slots to do the same thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I would never think of this as like an easy map for them to get kills. There's not that many axe users, and I remember at least one of them has a sword reaver. So I'm curious no, where I, they I get the kills. I... Okay, let me let me take that back. I'm not sure how many kills to get, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think the original thinking was about trying to get them up EXP. Uh huh. I don't know whether or not it actually worked out. Um, I'm pretty sure at least one of them gets a couple kills on weekend enemies, like even if they don't have weapon trial kill advantage, like cavaliers and stuff, because um, they're still accurate even without uh, weapon triangle. Yeah. But, but I don't remember for sure exactly how that plays out. Um, I might have just been too lazy to properly uh, optimize use of keys. <laughs> mm -hmm. It could be, I don't know if this was on your mind at all, but it could be that I think the snow would slow down every unit by half, round it down, so someone like Lucius would only have two move, but the thieves mm -hmm. would have three, so that might help as well. Yeah, that might have been part of it. Um, it might have also just been I thought I needed two in order to make sure I could open all those doors in time. Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know about the door key situation. I just, I don't know what... Um, I mean, I've been stealing all the ones I come across. Yeah, true. I, you, there's, I no, there's no door key situation for you, necessarily, but... I just didn't... I probably just didn't think about it properly. <laughs> this isn't optimized, <laughs> so stop, stop, stop hating, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> I ain't hating, I'm loving it. I love unoptimized, <laughs> optimized playthroughs. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I... What was it? Yeah, there's like an Urban Legends, I think, that there is a shortage of door keys in these chapters, and if you don't come in with extra ways to unlock doors, you get soft-locked. I don't know yeah, how true it is, though. I don't either, because I never have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I will always make sure I don't get into that, into that situation. I don't think I've ever been to this point of Hector Hard Mode, or any Hector Revy 7, without, um, like, a thief alive with a lockpick that I can use, which... I would think there's more... If it was true, there probably would be more people complaining about it. Because it's not uncommon for Hector Hardmore, especially for you to run out of lockpicks. If you don't steal any, you just you have Matthews and that's basically it. Yeah. God knows people will find any excuse to complain about everything that happens in FP7, so I'm <laughs> surprised I didn't hear more about guilty, that already. Guilty, guilty. I love complaining about FP7. <laughs> I also love FP7. Fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's been any snow yet. I think there's, I think there's like turn five when the snow sets in for the first time. I mean, we already had it when this chapter started. Oh. For a couple it. turns, okay. which is why we're still clogged up in this choke point here. Um, but yeah, now that it's it's ended, it's time to actually get units into places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and one interesting thing. Um, so I was I was talking about how I needed to open four doors in order for uh, Corral to show up and all that. I didn't bring Nini in. Yeah, that's true. Um, basically just because I, I, there were so many other scrub units I wanted to train that I didn't necessarily feel it was necessary, especially with the snow going to be hampering my efforts anyway. Um, and it definitely did end up a little sketchy trying to get all the doors open at the time. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later as well, because mm -hmm. there's potentially a bug there that I wanted to uh, oh. address. Interesting. But, yeah, so uh, Ninian obviously would have made this, uh, the goal of getting Prell a lot easier. Yeah, I'm actually so, because a problem I run into when I'm playing this map is the choke points in com combination with so many units wanting to move to the same square and ending up having to move less than, you know, their maximum move all the time. And Ninia would definitely help with that. Yeah, for sure. I, the, the, I, I just decided it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it should be for everyone, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... Do you know how many, roughly how many ups you can afford to bring Indian to, even? Because it, it, if she's already level 7 from Lin mode, I'm assuming she's still coming coming into a fair amount of maps, at least. The way I set this up, um, it nils caps on final. Oh, right. <laughs> so, that should answer your question. <laughs> I, kind of... um, I mean, obviously I can bring her to more, <laughs> if I'm like better at EXP managing elsewhere. Um, but as it is, it, it was really close as it is, so... Um, if, if I did things differently, it might have been easier to feel her on some extra maps, but um, the way I did it, it, it would have been difficult. That's fair. Curious to see where she will pop up, because I imagine you bringing into at least like the, the harder maps. Because this map, it is harder, but I don't know if I'd describe it as like one of the harder maps in 97. It's just, it's long, Tedious. and it, it's hard to optimize for kills, but not necessarily hard to complete if you catch my drift. Yeah, it's, no, that, I, I agree with that. That's kind of why um, she's not here. Mm -hmm. So our prediction would be like Ninian in, in a hard, in a more difficult map, like, I don't know, Battle Before Dawn, Kaga Destiny, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Heath is doing like a lot of work. He's like, I thought you wanted to feed some people, but he's killing I everything. <laughs> I, guess, I guess there just are a lot of units, and I'm guessing, do you need a door with Jeremy behind it to be open? No, right? There's like six doors total, I want to say. Uh, there's the one with the sage behind it, the one that that nomad trooper is standing in front of, the one to the bottom right, and then, um, this is what I was going to talk about with the glitch. The area up top has two entrances. Mm -hmm. Um, I heard recently that opening one of the doors counts as two doors. That makes sense. Um, but I didn't know that when I did this, so I opened up, so I, I counted it as one door and thought I had to get to that bottom right door within the turn limit. Um, and then there's the other one down in, like, the, the bottom middle of the screen that has the, uh, the, uh, chests and, mm -hmm. like, a bishop or something. Oh, hey, could be a new flux for Kanaz. How nice. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, I was actually wondering about that, too. I didn't think it would count as two doors. That's super good to know, because that means you have to... You already opened up the safe door, and you're basically near the middle one. So if you just open the top one and the middle one, you're good, I guess. But you didn't know, so yeah. you're gonna open another but one. but I didn't know. And I haven't confirmed that myself. It was just something I heard recently, uh -huh. so it might not even be correct. Um, I would have to, you know, see some video proof or something. Comment section, now is your time. Yeah, come on, guys. 
<laughs> you know what's good. <laughs> I've never heard this before, but it makes so much sense. I mean, the door does vanish, so I don't know how the game right. checks for this, but you think it just checks, okay, how many doors are still on the map? And then it counts against that. Right, like it makes it made sense once I heard it, but I just didn't think mm -hmm. about it. That is unfortunately how a lot of misconceptions happen. It's like, hmm, what I just heard fits with my biases. I will accept yeah. this as true, so it's, it's yeah. good to have confirmation at some point, hopefully. <laughs> but I, I, all I know is I'm not going to play this map to find out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I actually like this map a little more because I'm not having to deal with annoying siege enemies and enemies being able to hit me through walls most of the time. That one sage does have bolting, but like if you kill him the same turn you open the door, that's not an issue. He is way easier to access than the Purge Bishop from Kennedy Tower, yeah. that's for sure. Like That guy is exactly. deliberately hidden in such a way you can maybe get him with a longbow, or if he positions himself like really stupidly, you can get him with a normal ranged weapon. Yeah. But it's not trivial. I, and then there's Kenneth, of course, with the perch himself, whereas Jeremy has, like, right. Rune Sword Lamal. Oh, wait, he has Lightbrand, this one. Uh, right, it's Rune Sword in the Japanese. Yeah, I think he also has Rune Sword in the final chapter. Yes. Is it? Yes, I do remember this. Does he really have Rune Sword in the Japanese version of this chapter as well? Because I remember that being a difference well, for, like, the Cargo Destiny hero you fight. Oh. The, the oh, maybe the not. Fight. Maybe I am confusing it with that. Mm -hmm. I know someone has a Rune mm -hmm. Sword in the Japanese. <laughs> Uh, I need to play more Japanese Fire Emblem. The little differences are always interesting. I was thinking about doing like a follow-up to this where I did like the same idea except using the Japanese version. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if I'm ever actually going to do that or not, but it would be an interesting, uh, it, different enough to be interesting. So did Heath and Urk like disarm themselves just so that they, he wouldn't end up massacring everything here? Like the Paladin yes. specifically? Okay, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> chapter has some odd plays. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there menacingly. Yeah. And everyone else. Talks needed. Let me in. I want to in on the kills. Let me in. To move, to move, to move, to move, to move. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, you find a good spot for Bartry, though. I. We're not done with him. He's no. not just sitting here staring into this, this longingly. I mean, he's probably longingly staring at the wyverns that are coming down, but I remember some of those have yep. achievers, don't they? I don't think they do. Oh. Uh, at least not that ends up impacting me, but I don't think they do, actually. Okay. I I could swear they had, like, a weird weapon, but it might not be an actual weapon. Either way, it's, it's gotta be good for Barter, otherwise he wouldn't be there. Right. Yo. Is this a Luna Druid? Do you know? I don't... No, that was... Was that Nos? I think there's one with Nos, two with Luna, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. So isn't, isn't it fine for her to get XP here? Why is he disarmed still? Or this Nomad guy? Um... I think because otherwise Heath has like five weapons on him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So like he actually needs to give up all his weapons in order to take all of Heath's. <laughs> Good thing this playthrough is very well planned. Yep. <laughs> hey, I succeed at my goals. Exactly. <laughs> if, you have, if you have other criticisms, it worked do it out. Yourself. It worked out. No, <laughs> no, no sarcasm here. This is, for the record, I do that shit all the time where I'm like, oh, if I just change this, like, one thing in my preps, this would have gone way better. Like, if, uh, yeah. if I just had one, like, dot weapon on the item, this would have worked out way better. Because I also saw you, like, trade the unlock staff around turn one or something. <laughs> yeah, it's some, sometimes it's just, it's laziness. Yeah. It's just like, oh, well, I put this unlock staff on this unit, well, I don't want to use it now, so. Mm -hmm. This unit's have plenty um, of turns to spare to trade around. It'll be fine. I mean... Like I said, everything works out, yep. so... <laughs> I guess it was also maybe a slight danger of Urk suffering from success if he uh, had a weapon equipped there, because he might kill the Nomad and the next guy comes in. He gets like, two that, shot, That two might shot. have also been it, yeah. Because he, he's not exactly, um... I mean, he is in a forest, but he's not exactly the most defensive of units. Yeah, so. and I think some of these guys have, like, iron bows, so they're probably hard to make miss. Yeah. At least it's, it's what I think I saw. I don't remember every weapon in FE7. It's up in my head, but I know an embarrassing amount of them. Uh, Florina, I hope you're going to be okay, but I think you will be. Yeah, this one cracked. is like one of the uh, most <laughs> touch and go turns. The strength touch keeps going. Got She's going to yeah. one shot these mages now. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Her yeah, I think this is the part where everyone was like, wow, that was the most distressing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Florina, no. I. I think She's these, fine. these are like steel weapons, probably, or like javelins. The mages probably have like thunder or something. It's it's okay. I know you said her res was not good enough to take zero damage. 
from no. ranges. So, oh, she doesn't. Oh, okay, good. No javelin equipped. But good. Because only one of them can attack her. That helps. Yeah. Okay, that does help a lot. Ooh, and now you can feed some to Urk. If you can, exactly. you know, and, around. and other units too. Yeah. What next turn? I mean. Yeah, I was expecting Urk to one round there. I don't know why. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, so we've opened but the up. the other two Falco Knights do get the chance to attack, so Javelin's not, like, Javs yeah, aren't super. Ah, they never hit. They've never hit with <laughs> a Javelin before. <laughs> not an V7, nope. <laughs> no enemy has ever heard any sound other than with and Tink with the Javelin. Those are the only two options. I choose not to kill with Wrath, wow. I wonder why. I don't know, it's sort of like, Wrath is like, oh, it's okay, Florian will back me up, and Florian just runs three squares back, he's like, good luck, you're on your own, bye! <laughs> God, the physic only gave her 20 health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Priscilla's magic, not that high, I guess? I, I guess she didn't, like, get to a, a very high level. I know you said you wanted to promote her desperately, but I don't know how far she actually got this far. No, I mean, I, I, I don't end up promoting her. Mm -hmm. It's just, I really like Valkyries, I would have loved to promote her if I could have. Yeah. I did have, um, I ended up with enough funds to where I could have promoted one more unit. Um, didn't know that until the end. Yeah. So you, I wouldn't have risked it. Because you took it one chapter, one turn at a time, with, like, the deployment plan, right? But not really the, like, yeah. the turn by turn yet. Yeah. But Zerka also makes you, like, hella rich. I don't remember there being a white gem in the <laughs> Kenneth version. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I remember because uh, if there isn't one, that's another reason that this map is good for ranked. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know what the funds difference is for this for this map. I'd have to relook into that. I know I looked it up once in my life for surprise a farmland debate, <laughs> 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 where I was like, I think I was arguing in favor of uh, Lucius versus Dorcas. So the Kenneth versus Jeremy map was actually kind of relevant to the argument. Uh, my sure. opponent, of course, dismissed me very rudely because, one, they were more experienced than me at debating, and two, I didn't really know what I was doing. But I was trying to use it as a part of my argument. And uh, they were like, well, there's not much of a difference, and if there is, it's not a very big one, so your argument doesn't matter. And then they elaborated <laughs> with numbers, of course, but I don't remember the, the numbers off the top of my head. They were sure. like, yeah, sure, the ranking is higher, but the fonts you get are higher, too, so it doesn't matter that much. Something like that. Okay. Something, something among us those lines. Gotcha. It's uh, a trivial thing within a trivial thing. Oh, Corel. He spawns there? I forgot about that. Doesn't Corel spawn like... Uh, or does, doesn't Harkin spawn from where the other reinforcements come? Like the top right? Yes, they do spawn in different places. That's so weird. And I don't have um, Hector nearby because I haven't been able to get him nearby. <laughs> I don't think I had two move for most of the map so far. I, I'm yeah. not surprised. Um, so it's gonna be a bit. Yeah, because it's either him or Lin. And that's kind of it, I think, for recruiting Corel. Oh, I didn't know if Lin could. I mean, that would make sense. I just have no idea. Yeah, Sakai plus Lord plus Ratio plus worse unit than Harkon. Because <laughs> like for Harkon, you can use like any unit from Astia or Foray. It's quite unfair. Yeah. <laughs> How much better? That yeah, actually, is. that is that is annoying. <laughs> it's like the list of Serenus for is goes like, well, recruit with. Elwood, Hector, Isadora, Marcus, Lowen. It's like the list just yeah. goes on and on and on. <laughs> I, I don't think it can be like Matthew or Sarah, but everyone else is basically basically fair game for Hargren. Basically, yeah. First playthrough, I got Corel. I was actually quite surprised at how good it was. Like he, he still kills enemies in like normal mode quite easily too. He doesn't even crit anything. He's just he's got enough strength to kill things. I mean, yeah, he, he's serviceable. Mm -hmm. He's not the greatest, and there's a lot of reasons why, but it, it's serviceable. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. He's. I think he has worse stats than Jafar overall, and Jafar joins not that long after. Like to the point where you don't think. I don't think Karel is going to doing a whole lot in this chapter or in Battle Before Dawn. So the, ba the availability difference between the two is not that big, and right. they're not. Jafar isn't that broken in the first place. He's great. He saved one of my Iron Man's, but <laughs> he's not like. Oh come on! You can't not put him in S tier after that. Of true. What are you doing? <laughs> Good old Jafar. Killing enemies, we're doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Level 19 Wrath already, holy moly. So he was like, I think like 14 or something when we started this? I don't even remember, maybe even lower leveled. Yeah. Um, but he's making his push to, to cap here. Shout out to this nomad attacking Urk, what the heck? Yeah, okay, I have no idea. Is I it mean, because they know they can put it under 20 HP or something? Yeah, that's gotta be it, because Rodas has 39 HP, so that might have something to do with it. No! Karel, that's my experience. Yeah, unfortunately, that 
Because I don't have Hector in range. <laughs> I mean, that put him in range at least, so it's not yeah. the end of the world. This is like, I need all these experience. Annoying. I need all the points I can get. Leave me alone. Even tiny monks. <laughs> yep. Alright, Karel. I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't. I like this physic. <laughs> <laughs> the status physic. You could, you could have theoretically, I think, Rescue dropped Wrath closer to him instead of using physic, but I don't know if he's yeah, using probably. other turns to spare. Well, since he hasn't moved yet, I think he's got somewhere else to go. Mm -hmm. else to do. Oh, yeah, that's that's also true. I mean, yeah. Priscilla probably would have just moved him up a tile. Yeah, mm -hmm. Priscilla probably just also wants the experience. Did you? How she many, does. How much physic do you have? Because you have pence since last chapter, so you gotta have another one at least with near full uses. Yeah, and I think I bought like at least three of them in the secret shops. Yeah. Um, but I haven't really been using them that much. Okay. As far as I can remember. So spamming physic probably definitely the move thing. Probably yeah. definitely. Probably definitely. It's okay, Wrath could just hit that guy. And, uh, yeah, I guess these mages are really easy to feed to whoever because they're indoors behind a wall, so anyone with two range can just get them. And I think the bottom left has some monks as well, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I think there's also a bishop down there too, yeah. I didn't catch how Kanaz let these two druids go without dying. What happened with those? <laughs> like if I, I had, I had trouble. <laughs> if I saw them walking them around, killed. like if I'm Hector and I see these druids walking around, and you know you sent Kanas away, he's like, is Kanas okay? Is he dead? <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> I had trouble <laughs> killing them. They do have res. Why did I let Florina take that kill? I don't know. Did I expect it to go for Lucius or something? Except Florina's still on like really crappy HP, but she got a great level, so who cares? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this, right here. Oh god. That's one of the Luna Druids. <laughs> Brave <laughs> Will. Good job, Will. You did it. Level 18. Only Things one level behind Wrath. To see. Yeah, he's also capping this chapter if you didn't figure that out. Oh, base. <laughs> you can probably get the other Druid. I don't know if that one's Probably, he's well. got the Brave Bow. Yeah. I mean, the first one dies to him. I don't think... That was not from full HP, right? That Druid. He's gotta be weak in the class of these ones. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out in the next one. Will's stats are not good. But although he's level 19, yeah. so maybe they're, they're kind of good enough. Yeah, there's the monk squad. Yeah, right. and the bishop. Which... Wrath? Spider um, Hec Hector's got a chess key. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's uh, it's one of the annoying bits about his chapter is having to have keys all over the place. Oh, the gold? Oh, he is full HP, but not longer. Not, not anymore. <laughs> Thanks, the gold. Wait, Kanas, no, back off. Not your, no, 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 Kanas, what are you doing? Stop, that's Will's kill, no! <laughs> I should it to Will, why I didn't. Kanas, <laughs> I, I guess we just like Kanas, we're, we're Kanas fans. We like Kanas in the shell. There, there probably is an argument for giving it to Kanas, because promoted units get more XP, percentage-wise, like, optimization-wise. Yeah. Although Will only just hit level 19, so you probably can do it in a way where giving it to Will is optimal, slash near optimal. I know for boss kills, it's definitely optimal to give it to promoted people. So, Bartray here does not double the Wyverns. Mm -hmm. I have had bad tra Bartrays in the past that do double the Wyverns, but the result is that he cannot kill them quickly enough, and so other though some of the Wyverns have gone off to attack the rest of my army, which oh. is not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> that is sad. But I, it, it's a trade-off, right? Because now Bartray gets more chip XP. So he does. It's not all bad. It's just a little bad. It's just a little bad. Nas no, we need Nasiratu. It, it sells for so much money. It's worth so much. I'm not selling Nosferatu. Well, uh, it's got a lot of value for the ranks, okay? It's got a lot of value. <laughs> we, it's it's a high appraisal value. Oh, I see. <laughs> it does, right? It's like 3k, 4k? No, I'm pretty sure it is It is kind of expensive, yeah. Why is Mernus at this front line? I still don't get it. <laughs> because I was having issues finding a unit to be that choke point that see? was gonna be useful. See, if you had an unequipped Wallace there, or Oswin, I know you don't have Wallace, then you would have gotten one XP for each of these combats, so this is clearly Imagine suboptimal. me getting Oswin there! <laughs> I mean, he could have carried him over. He was he, he was holding no weapons. Surely he could have had a turn where he could carry Oswin over. That's true. It is annoying choke points, because like, the units you're bringing here, they're not durable enough to just fight there. They just Exactly. They just have to sit behind and wait for the turn. Like, even my actual promoted Heath and Florina, like, they're still weak to bows, so... True. No shield yet. Right. 
It's like, I know it's only 2x effectiveness, but that's still more damage than they'd otherwise be taking from literally any other enemy type, except maybe, like, I don't know, sages or something. Yeah, it, it basically turns their steel bows into, like, silver lances, I guess, or silver swords, whatever something allegory like you want to yeah. use. It's, it's, not, it's pretty threatening, especially for a foreigner who has, like, no defense. Yeah. Heath, I think, is usually finding us, like, a bow or two. It just can't be, like, the whole bow squad over here. Which it, it well, mm -hmm. was, or would have been, so... Rip Horse Slayer Myrmidon. Oh, yeah! I think that's the <laughs> one, at least. That. I'm not entirely sure. Probably. It's the only verb we've seen so far in this chapter that isn't in the, uh, Jeremy room. Yeah, true. A favorite meme. Did they... <laughs> I think... In one of the modes, I don't remember which one, they I think they, they had like a horse there, a cavalier there or something, and they switched them around for Mermidon, but forgot to change our weapon around. At least that's the, right. the head cannon I have. That's the raining theory. I mean, it's probably the most likely. Yeah. <laughs> and I've played Especially because there just like aren't other Mermidons outside of the, the, uh, the room. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any, so I think you're right. And, um... There is a ROM hack called Mermidon Bloom, where every oh, yeah, a lot of that. enemy... Uh, enemies as well are Myrmidons or sword fighters or some some way. Sure. And, um, one of them has a room that looks very much like Jeremy. There's a horse slayer Myrmidon right in front of it. He has, a, he has no weapon either. He just has the horse slay. It's so cute. That's pretty good. <laughs> good reference. That ROM hack is genius. It also has uh, Lin in it, and every character has their age in their bio. And for Lin, it just says 18? Question <laughs> mark. I don't think I knew that. That's really good. <laughs> I, I played the first few chapters of it. Um, oh, you did. But I, I don't remember why I stopped. But maybe it was just because I didn't recognize like 99% of the worms that were being put in front of me because I haven't played that many games. <laughs> so it was just kind of like I couldn't really get attached to it. But yeah. it was definitely a cool concept. Uh huh. It's so much better than it sounds like. It's, it really surprised me. It took me a while to like want to even try it because it seems so stupid. Like, why did anyone play that? And then I realized, oh, <laughs> it's, it's actually just really fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll get back to it. Sometime. It doesn't have a ranking system, unfortunately. I wish it did. Nothing does. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I, I was talking with Crash about potentially coming up with ranks for Four Kings, though. Um, oh. We'll see if that ever goes anywhere. That could work because it's one of those hacks where everyone is supposed to. Oh, Wrath's Cap. Hold up, hold the phone. Yep. Wow, I was expecting his strength to be way higher than 14. He has, like, really good strength growth. I would have liked it to be higher than 14. Yeah. I like the Nomad Troopers. I would have liked to be able to use them. I mean, I wouldn't have in this particular run, but... Just in general. Does that make you mad? Or what, are you, are you, are you no mad? Oh, I'm Nomad. I mean, you're Nomad? Okay, good. <laughs> Don't be mad. I was, trying, I was trying to figure out what you're getting at there. I'm like, oh, duh. <laughs> okay, so... One of the thieves is going for the upper treasure, and I'm guessing you're kind of trying to break through here to get to the last door with Jeremy, but it looks like... I, don't know, I was expecting there's, a lot more grinding in here. Maybe... There is, well, yes, there are more reinforcements. Okay, so we're good. just trying to break through to get my units into that open space, but we're not trying to open the door yet. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, because then you have to deal with both reinforcements and the door at the same time. That seems like a lot of work. Yeah. I guess you could choke the door with Thor now, but her res isn't good enough, so maybe not. I think some yeah. of the rooms are like... I think a lot of the Mermans actually have that app. I know I keep saying there's they, like reefer weapons somewhere, but I swear this time. That's where it is. I no, swear. No, that's, that's right. It, it is all Lance Reavers there. All Lance Reavers and a life brand. It's the... Yes. If you if you use a Lance coming into the room, you get no weapon triangle advantage whatsoever. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you thought incorrectly. But yeah, if you can get into the open space, then you can attack the reinforcements as they spawn, which is way better than this awful choke point you have to do here. Yeah, I'm just trying to break through at this point. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting there. Yeah, it's hard to Slowly. break. It's hard to break through when these guys have so much bulk. Like the paladins and the wyverns are hard to one run kill with these units. Yeah. Also, Heath and Florina keep getting hit. And need to either be physicked or come down here for healing. Yeah. That doesn't help. When they have like no movement. <laughs> I mean, they have the most movement of everyone here. Full yeah, movement. Yeah, they. Have, yeah, I was gonna say they have eight, cut kind of in half. So they're they're better off than other people, but they still don't have enough to. You know, get all the way from one place to another. Yeah. <laughs> stop getting hit for now, no. <laughs> and stop six shotting wyverns. Ooh. Ugh. She's holding an iron sword, um, which was intentional so I could leave that paladin on low health. Uh-huh. Don't so that someone else can get the kill. Yes, I was gonna say so these have some reavers too, like this paladin has a lance reaver. It's such a Right, weird that's set right. Here. A couple of them do, yeah. It's like a very weird inconsistent set of weapons. I think Unless you get like a paladin with two reefers in the inventory, I think. It's it's such a strange set of reinforcements. I guess they want everyone to show off the reefer mechanic in this one. 
this this map has interesting decisions. I don't think it's bad. Like I, a lot of people do think it's bad. The snow mechanic, of course, sucks. But I'm not a fan. Like I don't. It, that almost so happens in the Kenneth map, and I don't really dislike the map design apart from that. Mm -hmm. I like the Kenneth one because you can. It's it's kind of a challenge to fight against the snow in that one, and then get indoors as soon as possible and get rid of the snow mechanic for yourself. Yeah, the getting indoors part, like, that's not really something you, you can do here. Yeah. Um, so that, that's definitely interesting. You can, but, like, the moment you're inside, the enemies are probably point? dead yeah. anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just wanna... it doesn't, like, there's no use for it, because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I'm inside, there's chests in here and nothing yeah. else. Okay. It doesn't get you to a place. Yeah. Maybe the top one. Yes. That one is sort of relevant, because there's, like, enemies on both sides. So you can maybe get the pillars or something for yourself. It's an interesting map. I would be interested to see this rework, like... I don't know if I mentioned this before, yeah. but I'd be curious to see if there was like not another project ever for FE7, but like uh, because like I know those exist and mm -hmm. generally are not very well received. But as it, with most of those types of yeah, <laughs> like some people just don't want to fix the thing, which is fine. But I'd be interested to seeing how each map in FE7 could be improved and then try to play it to see if they do feel more fun to play. That's that's what I'd be interested in doing at some point. Yeah, um, uh, being able to do map design is, I think, the problem with most of those hacks because it's like you just don't have people that think unit tweaks and stuff like that are sufficient mm -hmm. to be able to improve something. And it's like, no, that you know, the map plays a lot into it as well. And yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes people just don't know how to how to make a good map, which I probably wouldn't either. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not like I have anyone to talk. It's just commenting on what I've been seeing. Um, but yeah, so something like Heavy 7, like, I think the, the balance for the base game is is fine, but it's like, the map design could be better. Yeah, I think this portion of the game is when it's, it just feels like a bit of a drag at times. It's it's still fun here because optimization for killing. Yeah. But it's they're so long. <laughs> they're just sort of long. Yeah. They play on for a while. Oh, Will, are you sure you want to risk that, buddy? You gotta hit. Okay, all right. Oh, he knew. He saw the matrix. He saw the matrix. He was fine. <laughs> well, are you right, absolutely so sure? Snow's ended. We've broken through the choke point. Now mm -hmm. it's time to actually you know, finish out some of here. And he got a promoted enemy, but he didn't cap yet because I think he would have shown off his stats no. if he did. So he still needs to No, he got like to. He's got like half a level. Yeah. It's so. Leveling very slow. At least Priscilla is getting massive XP. Let's see what level she is. Must be like 17? 16. Yeah. <laughs> so, she, she's close. Those stats are not good. <laughs> That's the magic. I don't know why I'm waiting so long. Okay. Um, Probably looking I, I think it's <laughs> On my description, I said that I thought I screwed up at some point was playing blind, but I don't remember where or how. I mean, oh. this was like a year ago, so... <laughs> Well, we'll probably be able to tell. I don't think it was here because it was—it wasn't that long. Like when you when you screwed up in the desert, you could clearly tell like, yeah. oh, I actually have to figure out moves, check ranges, and stuff. This was like a brief pause. I would interpret. Yeah, so it as might as, not be that yet. Yeah. <laughs> it might just be check my notes to make sure I don't do anything stupid. Because again, yeah. one wrong move and you're off the grid. Yeah. <laughs> that is the uh, the thing about this is it's like it's not. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Ignore me. <laughs> I, th I think maybe something along the lines of like, if if you're like really far into a recording, I like, think you don't want to reset. You just rather just play it out to see if you can. Well, there is that, out. yeah. At least I thought that might be what you're going for. But hey, if you come up with it before the end of the video, feel free to interject. <laughs> oh, oh, another wiper breaks off. I don't think he'll make it though, because like one more wiper is gonna die and he's gonna move right back. Part three, right? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That doesn't sound good. All right, Will, you gonna cap now? Yes, let's go. Nice. Things you never you see. You worked so hard for this one. <laughs> he's in so many maps. <laughs> God, he's so awful. <laughs> okay, so you are now they in the open space. Here. You are in the open space, but you have like no units to kill with. A couple, but there's like four they're, enemies. They're coming. They're they're coming up. Lucius mm -hmm. and Urk are the big ones. They're they're gonna be here soon. Oh, Wrath is but he doesn't. Wrath doesn't want to kill anymore. Wrath but, is capped. Yeah, can't do that. You can you can, you can chip, I guess. Oh, choke pointing anyway. Oh, I guess it's like a wider choke point now. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. At least for now. Mm hmm. Well, hopefully, well, Florence. Priscilla still really hit. does just get a lot of healing in. Mm hmm. Canus does too, but um, you just see it so much more with Priscilla. <laughs> Oh god, Marcher is just short of killing them. That's sad. So yeah, was... that was that was part of what happened. But even on enemy phase, I think the Wyvern Lord ends up moving first. Mm, so sucks. I don't 
the other one doesn't suicide on Bartray and then leave it open space. That I think sucks. That happens. Yes, it does. I, he'll make it to someone eventually. At least the enemies in this chapter don't have healing AI, where they like run somewhere yes. and try to get healed. That would be awful. There isn't, isn't anywhere to run to. Yeah. Thank God I didn't. Like, imagine if they put like one priest somewhere with the heal staff, like in a corner somewhere. Ooh. <laughs> like <laughs> that one, would suck. one fourth somewhere near Germ or something. Level 19! Yeah, getting there. Still crappy speed. Or maybe average speed, I don't know. I'm just so, so, uh, far tray pilled from the other two that I had on the mm. other ranked runs. Nine. Okay, no, the Wyvern Lord doesn't move first, but it still doesn't. I think it still doesn't go for Bartrake for some unknown well, reason. Does. Maybe it's a different guy? Oh, no, it does. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else okay. in this chapter than, like, an earlier turn. This Wyvern Lord all offended is like, How could you confuse me with the other guy that looks exactly like me? <laughs> How could you have done How this? dare you? <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh, Bartrake's almost capped. Let's go. Yeah, yeah I think so. He... Um, he's got a hero crest on him. Oh, nice. You think 9 speed, level 20-ish, or like 18 levels from 4 speed, I think, so 5 procs. Uh, 3 and... speed, 6 procs. 6 procs, my bad. 6 procs at 40%. That doesn't sound super off averages. I guess not. It's just, it's just that slow, and <laughs> you're used to the fast one. <laughs> I'm very uh, used to the fast fortress. Yeah, it looks like the Paladin is not dying this turn. This might have been when oh. things started to go off the rails. Oh! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe that looks, not, maybe not. That looks that very on rails to me. That looks very on brand to me. <laughs> uh, Will's done I did too. use an Iron Lance on that uh, Lance Reaver cap, though. Yeah. Okay, it worked out. If it works out, that was the correct move. Correct. That's that's how this run goes. Yes. Very on rails. Is there, like, a reason you're not having Karel go in? Because he could kill a cap or two. It's not bad. No, he isn't. Um, I think I was just generally trying to uh, get units on, or get kills on these promoted units I'm going to actually use long term. Mm. Um, Corral's also like level eight, so I think he's actually higher level than all three of my promoted units. But yeah. no, he, he he's not awful here. Yeah, because four now Heath promoted last map, right? Like twenty six. Oh, maybe Heath like a little bit earlier, but Florian definitely promoted last map, right? I think they both promoted last map. Yeah. I think. Yeah, all right. Sense. Yay! Nice <laughs> HP level up to round it all up. <laughs> uh, okay, now he'll get his zero speed promotion and it will all be fine. Correct. Disgusting. Didn't bring an iron bow for that juicy double effectiveness from his wife board? I, I didn't. Um, that would have required him stepping off the mountain. Yeah. Plus, like... And it wouldn't it wouldn't have killed. <laughs> it wouldn't improve your damage output at all, I think, because you don't get the enemy no. phase. <laughs> it's so awful. Exactly. Yay, one strength. And the, the bulk is good, I guess. The bulk helps. The bulk is fine. A little bit. Nice job. He does get to use bows later, though. Oh, good. Just not on this map. You read against Carla, right? I guess he doesn't no. really use a bow, Gary. He holds a bow. No, actually. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. You can get Chippy XP on Carla if you use an Iron Hex, right? <laughs> no. Sword no? Reaver. They both take damage, which means you can heal on both. <laughs> Optimization. I guess Barcher's needs the accuracy improvement more than Carla does in that matchup. <laughs> That's good. Of course, the real chat moves use a sword slayer. I don't think I had. I don't think you have one that early. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, in uh, normal mode you do, but in, in hard oh, mode you do okay. not. You get one. Right. Uh, there's in normal mode. There's a sniper that drops a sword slayer in sense of time. Don't ask me why. Right. Okay. Oh, I'd forgotten. Barcher, no, that's suboptimal. Why'd you do that? Because he's still already half a level into this, so he only needs three and a half more levels. <laughs> True. Also, I guess the map is going to end somewhat soon. It says there's six, six enemies map, so I'm assuming six enemies left, so I'm assuming they're all in the Jeremy room. I thought it was five, but yeah, they're all they are, are all in the Jeremy room. Oh, maybe I saw it before the door died. No, no, no. I mean, I, I'm thinking that there are five, but oh. I might be. Yeah, okay. There's, there might actually be six. Yes. Um, no, this, this, this bit, yeah, I think the reinforcements are done, it's just a matter of, like, getting some heals, and I have turns to spare, so oh. I do it. Interesting. I thought you would spend turns elsewhere, but I guess you just grind reinforcements everywhere to the point where you just, you have these turns now. Yeah, basically. Oh, that makes sense. Cause... I'm just getting some healing speed. 
Right. There might there might be another round of, re of paladins too. I don't I don't quite. Know. Mm -hmm. Like they they might be. If there are, they're not showing up. If, yeah, I was gonna say it might be one of those ones where it's like every three turns or whatever. But I I think I'm I think I'm full of it. <laughs> I mean, I remember them, them feeling like they last a long time, but I don't remember having to wait for them to come out. Like, by the time you're here, this should almost be done. Like, getting through to them is the hard part. But right. I, I guess you're also just making sure everyone is lined up for the Jeremy siege. It's not gonna matter. Like, there's only a couple of units that are actually doing anything here. Mm. But I just, I had some turns to kill, so I was like, we're just gonna get some heal from the XP. That's fair. Can you get Priscilla cap this chapter, then? Uh, no, she doesn't cap this chapter. I'm Fortnite. I mean, she she might have been able to, like, depending on how I played previous chapters, but um, not not here, mm -hmm. not now. Because <laughs> I don't know if she got all the heals. Like, maybe if you spam physic at every opportunity instead of using heals, then maybe. Right. Uh, I, I see. Yes, you're definitely just doing this for the heals. Don't worry about the warrior coming closer and closer. That, that's not relevant, <laughs> right? <laughs> he is gonna get healed. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, that he, is he's, why he's, he's, he's just here, here for the heals, I'm sure. Not nothing to do with the Lance Reavers inside of the room or anything. Twenty six no. times, damn. <laughs> like, See, Wait for he's me. not even in range. Don't open the door, no. I'm coming. Okay, so there are five in there. Five and Jeremy though. Five and Jeremy. That's what I meant. I meant yeah. five. I was talking about the numbers. Oh, I see. Hold yeah, Bartre isn't needed. Wow. <laughs> Although, actually, now that you mention it, I, I just did not even consider putting Bartre in there. So. Uh, I really thought you were going for that. That would have made sense. I, he probably gets doubled by Jeremy. I don't know how much damage he would take, because it's just a light brand. He would probably go from range, so it's like about as much as he did to Heath there, but double. He might go from one range if he could kill Bartre, though, oh, so I don't even know. He would. It's, I just love them giving him a weapon that cannot crit. Like, an assassin with a weapon that cannot crit is hilarious to me. The, the, a close range he can kill with a weapon crit. But I'm, I'm... It's hilarious, but it's also like, I feel like they may not have had a choice. Because it's like, well, if they can literally just silencer you, that's probably not good. <laughs> probably not. It's, especially after such a long map. Like, in the final, I think it would be fair yeah. game for him to, like, have a killing edge. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'd be okay with that. But, like, this is also your first, if this is your first introduction to an assassin. Yeah. But... Yeah. Probably. I mean, you've seen Jafar in cutscenes, but yeah. You don't really know what the silence yeah. thing is. I mean, you know what it did to Layla. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he needed a silence for that. But... Yeah, this is this might be where things went a little yes. bit off the rails. Um, as you can see, I'm now checking the stats. Uh huh. Everything. This is one of those moments where, like, what range does it count as what weapon again? Oh wow, Thorn of doubles with that? Insane. That was the thing, she didn't double with an Iron Lance, but oh. she doubles with a sword. So you're checking the weight, interesting. Yeah. Well, there you go. Skill set up perfectly for Barter with a hand axe. Right? No. Right? No. No. Please? <laughs> that would be nice. Please? <laughs> One time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. No bueno. Alright, Heath it is. Be like that. It hurts. These cuts. I forgot how insane Jeremy is. Absolute madman. Absolute. Absolute. Oh! There's your light brand. I Enjoy got the light it. brand! Now you have, have two, two of them. Now, yeah. That's great. So. <laughs> now all your sword units can attack at range. This is the fun one! Oh yes, Battle for Dawn. Looking forward to that one. Because you have to play yeah. fast. You have to go super fast. Of, like, gotta go fast. Moderately fast pace to save Jafar and Zephyr. Yeah. And, you know, There's some really stupid stuff. I love happens, stupid stuff. And I'm looking forward to talking about it. Yes, alright. <laughs> Please do elaborately talk about it next time. See, thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.